It is a real great pleasure to see so many old and new friends and supporters here tonight. And it's with great pride that we are about to introduce to you this year's winners. Winners who have taken positive and practical action to change the way we use energy and improve lives. Could any of us imagine our lives without being connected to power, with no computer and no internet? What if we and our families couldn't read after dark, apart from by fire or candlelight? And what about that safe and convenient oven in our kitchens or our cozy central heating system? It's almost impossible to imagine life without energy, and yet, there are two billion people across the world, almost a third of the world's population, who live without access to modern forms of heat and power. Mothers who cook over smoky, dangerous fires that wreck their lungs and their eyes. People who can't charge their mobile phone without a 20 mile round trip. And children who try to do their homework in the dim light of smoky, hazardous kerosene lanterns. Without access to modern heat and power, what hope is there, truly, for people to improve their lives? All of us here take so much of what this energy brings for granted. Education, prosperity, health and happiness, all of these are dependent on reliable energy. I sat, set up the Ashen Awards because like so many others in this room, I wanted to find practical ways to tackle climate change and reduce poverty. I wanted to find out what people were doing to reduce carbon emissions, improve their environments, and transform lives for the better. I wanted to champion those who harness, develop, and promote ways to use energy more efficiently and to create energy that's clean, renewable, and safe. The Ashton Awards champion those who work from the grassroots and celebrate approaches that make a real difference. The Ashton Awards is an environmental organization, an organization that seeks to reduce poverty, and an organization that supports and promotes innovation and enterprise. Because all of these things work best when they work together. We support and promote 21st century enterprises that are delivering real benefits to the environment, to economies, and to people. But we don't just give awards. We go to great lengths to help our winners grow, develop, and scale up. Later on this evening, you're going to hear from one of our past winners, Svati Bogle. She will tell you something about the effect of winning an Ashton Award has had on her organization and their outstanding work. As all of us know from newspapers, the, the energy and climate crisis isn't a problem of tomorrow. It's happening right now. Fatih Barol, the chief economist of the International Energy Agency, has warned that we are all ill-prepared for dwindling supplies of oil and gas. Global crude oil supply peaked in 2006. Energy prices all over the world are rising, and wherever they live, from Accra to Aberdeen, the poorest people are the ones hit worst. As a recent UN report has recognized, renewable energy is the most cost-effective and fastest way of increasing energy access to the poor, beating fossil fuels and nuclear. And yet, it is still not a source of mainstream energy. 2012 will be the UN International Year of Sustainable Energy for All. And like so many others in this room, I fundamentally believe that we've got to find ways of addressing that problem. The Ashton Awards has been, been working in this field for 11 years. Um, amid, amid more and more evidence of the benefits and necessity of local clean energy and of the growing need to mitigate and adapt to climate change, not enough has changed in this sector over this time. So we now need to act faster and more strategically to encourage the growth of local clean energy, both in the UK and in the developing world. Governments have significant responsibility for this, but it's also down to 
what we choose to do and what we advocate for as individuals. Tonight, you'll see people who are innovators, doing and achieving extraordinary things. They are pathfinders to a sustainable future. My dream, and the dream of everyone at the Ashton Awards, is that the innovators of today are mainstream tomorrow. We want sustainable energy to be so ordinary that people like me don't need to make a big fuss about it anymore. All of us have a role to play in this, and I urge all of you to play whatever role you can in making this dream a reality. I hope you enjoy hearing from our wonderful winners and our great speakers. I hope you are inspired to take action in whatever ways you can to reduce carbon emissions, increase energy access, and make the world a better and more secure place for our children and our grandchildren. It is now with great pleasure that I'm going to hand over to the wonderful Anna Ford, uh, who's been a great friend to the awards and who will guide us through this evening. Thank you.